If you're new to Moth Talk, I raise domesticated silk moths. And if you don't know what they look like, check my playlist out below, and if you love them, then hit that follow for more. If you don't plan on boiling the little cuties for one long, unbroken strand of silk, then you'll want to cut your pupa from the cocoon. You can let the moth emerge naturally, but due to genetically altering the silkworms to make stronger and more elastic silk strands, a lot of the moths struggle chewing their way out of the cocoons. The domesticated silk moth can no longer fly and their native color pigments have been lost. They lost their camouflage since it's not useful in captivity. These changes made the silk moth entirely dependent on humans for survival and it does not exist in the wild. These little dudes need your help from hatching the egg until it's time to mate. And even then, the males need help finding the females because their flying capabilities have been selectively bred out of them over the last 5,000 years. Isn't their silk beautiful?